close the doors, walk across the corridor. We got something to show you. Media is our reference. Now, you've already given quite a bit of value in terms of tips. What are some <laughs> other things that you would tell uh, either a first time content creator or a uh, intermediate or even a seasoned content creator in terms of making their video content better this year? Are there other things that they could do? Yeah. So I think probably, uh, and some folks might be disappointed to hear me say this, um, but the thing that you, the thing that most people overlook or mm -hmm. spend um, the least amount of time on that could be the most impactful at making them more er in their content creation is pre-production. Mm. So I, I find that often uh, people will want to kind of just jump right in. Oh, I'm going to make a video. And then the next thing you know, they've hit record and they haven't spent the time to really plan out what the content is that they're creating, how they're going to go about creating it and thinking through the process um, uh, like in a sort of analogous way to the, the way you would think about like a road trip, right? So like I always describe it this way. I say you should think about it. Think about it like a road trip first, right? The first, the first thing you have to talk about, the first thing you have to think about is the destination. Where do you, what do you want to accomplish with this piece of content, right? So first you think about that destination. What do you want to accomplish, right? Then you think about how you can accomplish that, that goal, right? You think about planning the route, right? How you get to that goal, how you accomplish that goal. And once you've done both of those things, you have answers to both of those questions, right? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do, right? The destination and how are you going to get there? What's the process through which you're going to arrive at that end result? Once you have both of those planned out, then you get in the car and start driving. But often people just get in the car and hit the gas without spending any time doing the sort of very unsexy work of pre-production and really methodically planning through what they want to accomplish mm -hmm. with, uh, with the content that they're creating. And, and much, much bigger picture, like getting kind of like, backing out to like a 10,000 foot view on, on content creation. Okay. The most important question you can ever ask yourself, I think in content creation is what you want to accomplish with it, right? What's the end goal? Because if you answer that question before you start, every single thing you do after you answer that question will be purposeful towards accomplishing that goal. Everything, right? Mm from planning to execution to post-production to delivery, everything is going to be purposeful towards that goal if you set that goal to begin with, right? So goal setting with okay. content is incredibly important. And I think it's something that a lot of people overlook. That is great. I want to ask this. Do you think, well, I guess the answer may be yes. So let me not lead. How could someone who is, maybe just starting out, get over the hump of pre-production. And, and by this, I mean that sometimes people talk themselves out of doing something because the task seems so arduous. So for some people, it says, well, I'm just going to go because if I, if I don't, I'm never going to do it. Whereas if they have to sit and think there's going to come, there'll be all sorts of excuses as to why. But pre-production and pre-planning is important. So how can... Uh, pro uh, producers, uh, how can content creators get over that hump? Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. I think there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, okay. I think, I think, you know, as, in terms of like a, a trick that I would employ, maybe if you're very uh, early on um, in your, in your career or on the path of being a content creator of, of being a producer, one of the things I might suggest is, if you want to just jump right in and start creating content, fine. But what I want you to do is I want you to jump right in and create a piece of content, but don't share it anywhere. Don't put it out, right? Treat it like a dress rehearsal. And then I want you to share it with friends and family and get feedback, right? Um, honest feedback, right? So don't share it with people that are just going to sugarcoat it for you. Um, but treat it like a rehearsal and watch it back yourself and be, be a critic yourself of the content that you're creating. Um, I think that can be a good way to, um, to, uh, 
allow you to to really sort of start measuring and understanding where maybe you need to focus a little bit more time and energy. And then and then because you have created a piece of content and you're using it as like a sounding board or you're using it as like a dress rehearsal, it also makes you feel like you're going in a direction. You're not spending a lot of time writing things down, planning things out on paper before you ever actually pick up a camera or your phone or however you're actually creating the content or somebody points a camera at you. Um, if you, if you start by creating a, a, like a rehearsal piece of content, um, and refining the process using that as, as a tool, um, at least you'll feel like you're creating something. And then it's just a matter of you've created something. It's when have you refined it to the point that it's ready to sort of release to the public. Right. So maybe that'll help get a little bit past that initial, um, uh, frustration with, with, uh, the, the process of, of pre-production because it's not, it's not sexy, right? It's the least sexy part of it. Um, but it's incredibly important. Absolutely. And it, this is gold, absolute gold. So if someone wanted to get in touch with you, either with Talix media or learn more about legendeering, maybe work with you, how would they do that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so super easy. You go to the website. It's just talixmedia.com, T-A-L-E-X-M-E-D-I-A.com. Um, and uh, if you want to learn more, I would encourage you, you can poke around on the website a little bit, but honestly, just book a call with me. Um, just book a call. I, I like to tell people to, I, I ask people all the time to treat me like a resource and they very seldom take me up on it. But I love to talk about what I do because I love what I do. I'm passionate about it. I'm excited by it. Um, I describe, uh, I describe what my creative pursuits as sort of like my, uh, my habit or my obsession and, and my business is how I feed that habit, how I feed that obsession. So I, I really love what I do. I love being creative. Um, I have a hundred different ideas for different things every day. And, uh, so I'm always happy to get on a call and, uh, provide a little guidance, um, offer a little value, uh, and help in any way I can for other people, uh, getting started on the journey. So, so yeah, go to the website, check it out. Um, you can send an email, you can book a call. Um, and then if you want to connect on social media, um, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, you can just search at Talex Media LLC. That's at T A L E X M E D I A L L C. Um, that's my social media handle uh, all across social media. So feel free to search that and uh, connect with us on social media as well. Fantastic. And I can attest to the fact that you will have a great call if you book a call with him. I think we were on the phone for like uh, almost two, well, on the call for almost two hours just talking. <laughs> about stuff. Yeah. You're also a great person as well. In addition to being really knowledgeable Thanks. in the field of media, he's just a super great person. Tom, thank you, thank you so very much. And I can't thank wait you. to have you back. <laughs> Don't forget, we're emotionally broke. Settle in our knowledge and conversations. Don't make